Previously on Who Done It, 13 everyday people checked into Rue Manor to play a diabolical game of life and death. The twist, the killer is among them. Well, the task at hand is staying alive because somebody here is a murderer. One by one, the guests will be knocked off until the final showdown, where someone will walk off with a quarter of a million dollars and be the last person standing to unmask who done it. And last time... Tino! The odds are stacked against me right now. Today's gonna be my Alamo. I don't wanna die. Maybe you can come over to the winning team. If I were Melina, I would leave Ronnie out to dry. Are you guys willing to share any information? I don't think so. It's cams info. You want me to come to your team and then later just pretend like it never happened? Why play me like that? Lindsay, congratulations. My team is in a much better position than Ronnie's team. We lost. How's the killer gonna get me? My dear guests, I am very sorry about the untimely death of Ronnie. It's hard to be happy that I survived when I see my friend dead in a swimming pool. And now it's just me against three. I don't wish to send shivers down your spines, but two of you are scheduled to die. One of you is the killer, and one of you will walk out of this house with your life and a quarter of a million dollars. Now that I've come this far, it's starting to register that I may be walking away from this thing with a quarter million dollars. As you well know, there are normally three areas of scrutiny. But on this chilly morning, the killer would like to offer you a bit of a twist. Four oh my God. areas. Wow. The scene of the crime, which in this case is the backyard where Ronnie was discovered floating in the clouds. The last known whereabouts, the library, where Ronnie went seeking solace and found malice. And the morgue, where you can investigate his body, which is now undoubtedly cooling. And finally, the killer would like to offer you all a mystery area, where one guest will have an advantage in solving the crime. Whoever earns the right to this area will also be given three minutes to investigate one of the other areas. This mystery area definitely changes the game. If Melina gets this, it may be enough for her to piece together a solid theory, even though we outnumber her. I can see by your faces that you're all frozen in thought. So we will stab each other for it. What? to win the right to the mystery area, we're gonna have to stab or break this block of ice to get to the box. There was a big chunk that broke off in front of me, and I can see the yellow case. And I start beating the crap out of this ice. Melina is literally killing it. She's a step away, and I'm still just making shave ice. I am so close. This is it. I am finally gonna win. And 
as I'm reaching for my yellow container in the middle of the ice. Congratulations, Cam! If I would have just picked harder, maybe I would have beat Cam. I think he beat me by maybe two seconds. God, they're definitely gonna have an advantage over me. So close. I will personally escort you to the mystery area. Then you will have three minutes to scrutinize another area. Would you please verbalize your choice now? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the crime scene. Crime scene, very good. As for the rest of you, the killer would like you to settle which area you all will investigate. The one catch is that you must all choose a different location. I will return in a few moments to hear your decision. We wanted to mourn her last night, and we have to. She has to. Well, we all have to. We have to agree. agree. Where do you want to go, Melina? Last known. So do I. You do. I'm not budging. Don't budge either. If Cam gets to go to the crime scene, then Chris and I should go to the two other locations. What What are we gonna do? Neither of us are gonna budge. I'm not. No. You're You're going to have to, because I'm not. Why am I? Because you have access to way more than me, and I will not move. Like, we can duke it out before I do that. I'm not gonna allow them to have all four locations. I'm not willing to play their game. We are not gonna budge just because Melina's team is dead. Just because she's being louder about wanting to go to the last known doesn't mean we're gonna It's not louder. Do it. I chose to go to the last known. Yeah, and so did Lindsay. You just chose louder. I will not change my mind. That's fine, and neither will we. It's not so. you, it's Lindsay. Yeah, but I mean, I'm very much with Cam on this point. us and you is that we are we, and you guys were all yous, and that's why you're all dead. Yeah, okay. We are we, and we are not gonna budge. It is a really terrible situation to be in, to be three to one. At the same time, she was part of the team that had us six to three and tried to tear us apart, so it's kind of poetic justice. Do we have a resolution? No. We do not. I can't say that the killer did not anticipate this situation. The killer provided me with three envelopes with the three locations. Lindsay, please pick one envelope. Melina. Chris. Last known whereabouts. The last known whereabouts. My envelope says I'm going to the last known whereabouts, which is where I wanted to go. I just hope that Chris gets the morgue. Melina. The morgue. The morgue. Chris? Crime scene. The crime scene. Even though I'm not getting the mystery area, I get an entire location for myself. They're playing against the Melina who is going to fight until my knuckles are bloody and I'm on the ground and the killer's standing over me about to kill me. I will keep fighting until that moment. I immediately notice ice in the pool. Ice. I need to figure out if Ronnie had a hot tub treatment, why was he floating in the pool? I see hot tub, opposite of hot. Oh my gosh. Frozen wants hot coffee. The hot tub is halfway drained and there's ice in the hot tub. Whatever caused the ice in the hot tub and the pool was strong enough to also freeze his cup of coffee outside on the ledge. That's a big blast of cold. How does one make hot tub and pool freeze? No blood. Ralph Benjamin, South London. These must be Giles' letters. On the desk is a lot of letters. Tenton Giles' personal confidential. Oh my gosh, D. 
Dear Mr. Giles, as you know, I've been here for almost eight days and I'm writing to tell you who the killer is. The name of the killer is Blank. The reason I know is Blank told Blank that Blank was being dishonest. The note is from Ronnie. At first I'm like, wow, I found a note that reveals the killer. <laughs> but <laughs> of course it's not that easy. All the names are crossed off. Oh my God. Ronnie is laying there, and it's hard to even recognize him. I really didn't want to see Ronnie. There was a reason why I didn't pick the morgue. You have chunks of the ice on your chest. What is this, burn marks, maybe? Ronnie is frozen. There's ice on him. How is Ronnie frozen? God, what is this? Could it be burn marks? He's frozen, but he's burnt. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The mystery area is the attic. And in the attic, there is surveillance footage. He fell asleep. Cool. Right now, I'm the only one who's seen video of how he got from the hot tub to the pool. but. Figuring out what caused that explosion is still going to be important if I'm going to live through tonight. Oh, Ronnie, is there anything else you left in here? The teacup is missing, but on the tray, there's a teapot. The tea is still warm. Sugar, cream, rice milk. There's one thing that's not labeled, and it looks kind of like a powdered milk. Really dumb, or Ronnie must have taken his teacup with him. It must have had cream in it because there's cream on the spoon. I'm still missing like everything about Ronnie's death. Oh my gosh, there has to be something else. I have just three minutes here at the crime scene, and I need to make sure that I cover all my bases. How is there ice in here? The drink is frozen. I'm still not sure what caused the explosion that launched Ronnie into the air. What launched him out? Everything that is available here, Chris saw just before me. Nothing there. I'm really regretting my choice of the crime scene. The morgue would have been far more productive than coming here. I don't see anything here. What is that? You're all shriveled up. You have ice all over you. This is my one chance to save myself. No one is gonna help me. They want me to die. What's that in your mouth? What is that? What is this powder, this foam coming out of your mouth? His mouth has foam coming out of it. And all this blue? It's not just gonna manifest. So obviously Ronnie had to have drank something. What is this? I see a thermometer on a tray. I think, hey, let me take his temperature. It's probably a chill 50 or something ridiculous. Oh, it's 105. Oh, wow, that's really high. You overheated and yet you have ice on you. Let me think, let me think. And that's when I remember all the times that Ronnie has told me when it's not making sense, you just need to stop and you need to think. Hold on a minute. So what happened? Did you drink something? Obviously, something he drank had to have either made him pass out or kill them to the point where he could then overheat and then freeze, however that happens. Rest in peace, my friend. Bye, Ronnie. I want an ice cream sandwich. These are yeah. melty. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, what to do? Take my mm -hmm. <laughs> bowl of strawberries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. If I have to choose sticking with my team or partnering with Melina, I'm going to choose sticking with Cam and Chris. I'm 
remember she has super hearing, so. Oh, yeah. Good point. That's her superpower. I still think Chris is the killer. If I give Melina any information at this point, it's just putting myself at jeopardy. The hidden location was the attic. Oh. It was still the same TV up there playing a video. I should have chosen the morgue. I knew it. I knew that's, that's what that's I wanted. Crimes. Melina screwed me. The missing information from the morgue is integral in us figuring out what really happened to Ronnie. Melina has some vital information that we don't. What did you see at the last known? Like, look, keep your eyes open, because yeah. those ears will hear if I talk. OK. What I know. Immediately, I start writing down what I know versus what I think. I start piecing everything together. Ronnie was frozen and yet burning up at the same time. What does that mean? I have no one to say, hey, this is what I'm thinking, and have them confirm it or deny it. I have to go with my instincts. I'm trying something that either killed him or made him sleep. OK, what else? This feels like we don't have many clues. I don't think I got really much from that secret location, but now like it's like we have nothing. I was hoping to come away with some piece of evidence that I could have withheld, but because I don't have anything to withhold, and I think that Melina is the killer, somebody on my team is going to die, and it could very well be me. What do you do out at a library? You read, but Ronnie doesn't read. So why would he be at the library? There's a desk in the library. Ronnie, throughout our time here, has written me notes in the past. I can only go off of what I know. Ronnie likes to write notes, and I know he was in the library, and I know he wasn't there reading a book. So he must have been there writing a note. God, I wish I had somebody to talk to about this. I have a pretty good theory, but I need some sort of confirmation. So I figure I have to go downstairs in some way get something out of them. All right, you guys ready to start playing this game, or are we going to keep playing like a bunch of cowards? Oh, oh. <laughs> three against one, you don't think that's cowardly? What's six against three? How's that <laughs> for cowardly? I mean, if you guys think you're the better team, let's throw it out there. Let's see who comes out on top. Yeah, well, the thing is that because we're the better team, we've got you against the ropes, and we have no reason to not let see, off. See, and that's where you're wrong, you guys. You should have never let me go to the morgue. I know a lot about what was at your locations. You don't know anything about what was at mine. Sample, last known whereabouts, right? Let me guess. Did you find a note? Maybe that Ronnie wrote? Crime scene, right? Let me guess. Ronnie was going out to the hot tub to relax. Was there a drink out there? I know that Ronnie drank something because Ronnie had the foam in his mouth. He wouldn't have been drinking alcohol because we don't have anything he likes. I also know he drank coffee while we were in the breakfast room. He had coffee at the dining room table, so not coffee. Tea? Did you find tea out there? The only thing I can go off of is maybe he had some tea. He had some tea, he wrote a note. And I'm hoping that somehow I get the other team to confirm that for me. I know a lot. If you know so much, then why are you here? What I know from the morgue that you don't know will cause one of you to die tonight. All of a sudden, she's Melina, ace detective. And because this whole new pitch is so out of character for her, I'm now pretty confident that she's not the killer. You're going to feed us now some accurate information, hook us, mm -hmm. then give us a bunch of lies. No, you know what I said was accurate. I feel so good. If I was inaccurate, he would have jumped on the one thing that I was wrong about, and he didn't. I know one of you might be the killer, and I know two of you are fighting for your life. And for the two of you that are fighting for your life, I will be in the kitchen making myself a drink. That's all I'm saying. Sayonara. Sayonara. Good luck, guys. Did she just become a completely different person? Yeah. Right now, I'm really nervous. I've never solved a riddle, and there's three other people going up against me. If I let anyone else solve this riddle, it could mean my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the killer would like you to witness a little experiment, a science experiment. Our lovely maids, Beatrice and Sophie, will be assisting me. Please, step back. 
The killer wants to make sure that none of you are harmed. Oh, yeah. Funny. That was a good one. You've all poured your hearts out in my little game. Most of you left will die just the same. Follow the bouncing ball that has a clue. Go where you're told on the chosen few. There is a canister of something bubbling, and it looks dangerous. Now then, let's start this little experiment off with a bang, shall we? As I'm watching them fall, I see one with black writing on it, and I grab it, and it says kitchen. I just take off running. These cans are filled with castor beans. Dig deep down if you have the means. Pull out a silver container. The next step is not a no-brainer. These are castor beans, and I need to dig inside to find something metal. Everybody is just going crazy. You can hear thousands of beans falling on the floor. I am digging like I have never dug before. I am digging for my life. I find the clue, and there's like a rolled up something. This phase of the game has many an angle. These words in particular may be tough to wrangle. Circle a specific room man or location, then you're allowed to go to that station. Back up your choice with the loop of your ink, then look for what's orange and go grab your mink. I decide since we have to circle a word and then go to that location, it's better for me to find all the words, circle them, and then go to all the locations at the same time. Orange. So the first thing I see is bar. Circle it, I go to the bar. I'm looking for something that's orange. Oh my gosh. Melina, Chris, and Lindsay have already got the next clue. And I'm just digging, 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 and I see nothing. Are you kidding me? And apparently, it's down on the floor next to me, and I must have swept it out without even looking. So the riddle says that this phase of the game has many angles, and the first word I see is pool table, which is a game with a lot of angles. Two orange balls. Yeah. That's... A five and a 13. Which one do you have, Chris? Well, washer, bar, globe, yep. pool table. Yeah, we've got those two. Try to find another. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just peaking. Melina has all these things circled on her board. I don't know what she's doing. Does she think it's like a Sunday morning and she has the paper? I mean, it's a riddle for crying out loud. <laughs> Have some sense of urgency. At this point, I think I've circled all the words. I've been looking at it for a long time. And the first place I go is the pool. I don't see anything. I don't want to spend too much time looking. I know I'm running against the clock, and I'm running against three other people. I'm looking around, and I notice the Q and the U on the card. And usually, the only way to make a word with a Q is the U. So I decide to try to follow it, see if it's a word. I see it's equipment. And when you follow the whole word, it's pool equipment, sort of written backwards and at an angle. I head out to the pool, and there's a sort of an enclosure where the pool equipment is kept, all the pumps and everything. There it is. Nitrogen, refrigerated liquid. There's the orange I'm looking for. It's an orange container filled with liquid nitrogen hooked up to the hot tub's water tank. So I know that there was liquid nitrogen used to launch Ronnie into the pool, but we're still missing the actual cause of death. 
I hear the bell, and it's like the Grim Reaper taps me on the shoulder. It's all come down to this riddle, and I failed miserably. I want to go somewhere where I can see who's within earshot, so let's go to the patio. I am fairly sure that Lindsay's the killer, which means that Melina is still available to die. So I'm just gonna share everything with my team and hope that I'm right about Melina. So the clue was pool equipment, and it's that enclosure over there. Mm -hmm. There's an orange canister filled with liquid nitrogen. So we think for sure cause of death is just frozen to death. No, it, sound, it doesn't make sense, but I think he was Poisons first, and then you think it's out. poison? Yeah, the uh, beans we were searching in castor beans are used to make ricin. Uh, what is that? It's white powder poison. Oh, well, there's no other reason to point out that they're castor yeah. beans here, unless it's yeah. ricin. I work for the Department of Homeland Security, so I know a thing or two about ricin, and it's extremely poisonous. I can't imagine those castor beans were just coincidence, so I'm going with that as the cause of death. Think, think, think. God, I could use Ronnie right now. I don't know, are they still outside? I'm feeling like I'm missing a lot. Can I hear anything? So if I'm going to die, I'm going to die fighting. They don't see me. I'm going to eavesdrop on them, and then I can be the one that doesn't get killed tonight. God, I can't hear anything. I feel like we don't have, like, nearly as many clues as we normally have. Oh, is he going to see me? We have plenty. I mean, we're just missing, we're missing one location. That's the thing. We're missing one. Okay, that's the thing is, I don't think she has all of the details. Of... She doesn't have any yeah. details, because that's one thing she learned from Ronnie, is how to lie. Talk about what you found, not about me. When you saw him launch, was it just like a dead weight? By the time I saw him, he was already airborne and like upside down. So you just see that and a big splash of water, which tells you that that's why the hot tub was empty. And that's how the ice got in here in the first place. Yeah. And then there's a timer for like the hot tub water supply. So that's what launched him over. No. The killer set some sort of timer, and then there was an explosion. Ronnie ended it up in an icy pool, and that's how I found him in the morgue. This plan worked, but I think I may have survived today. She doesn't know that, and it's enough to make her die, not me. Well, you're welcome. I am pretty confident I've got this case figured out. I still don't have any information from the morgue, but when push comes to shove, my theory is sound and I should be safe tonight. I know I'm missing some information, but I'm hoping with what I found at the morgue, using my instinct and what I overheard, that I can put together a strong enough theory that will be one of theirs. That's all I need, is one of them to not be 100% sure. This is gonna be interesting, even though Cam unknowingly helped me today. Thank you, Cam. So here's what happened. You gave Ronnie the hot tub treatment. Knowing that you had previously rigged the hot tub with liquid nitrogen. He was writing a note, trying to leave it for Giles, explaining who the killer was. I don't know who he wrote the note to or what the note was about. Ronnie sat at that very desk, poured himself a cup of tea, ladled a spoonful of ricin poison into his tea. I'm assuming it's poisonous, and that's why he had foam in his mouth when he was in the morgue. When Ronnie got in the hot tub, it was rigged to go off right at that time. He had a timer going, and then when the timer counted down, Ronnie exploded out of the hot tub. And then he falls into the swimming pool, and I believe there's dry ice all over the swimming pool. Ronnie sits, drinks his cup of tea, and falls asleep. <sighs> An explosion of water, ice, and Ronnie. The timer expires, releasing the liquid nitrogen into the water tank. Ronnie is propelled into the sky, where he lands in the pool. Chris, <sighs> I know you're the killer. Lindsay. You are the killer. Ronnie knew it, and I know it. Chris, I still think it's you, girl. God, I hope I don't die. Thank you for helping us get to this point, Lindsay. 
You've done well in maintaining your innocence. Wow. Walk into dinner and immediately notice a bucket full of ice and tombstones on them. Wow. Ew. Yeah. yeah this is creepy. A creepy. One of them has my picture. And then it just kind of sinks in that reality is they have more information than you. Great picture. This happens to be on a tombstone. There's a good chance that that tombstone really may be my tombstone. So you felt pretty confident today, even though I did. I just tried to um, base it off of like things I know about. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. One of these days, you should join us for dinner. That's such a kind invitation, Melina. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you're around when I get to eat it. I hope I am, too. <laughs> well, a chilled seafood buffet. How posh. <laughs> Something. I am very pleased to announce the guest who impressed the killer the most and who will be guaranteed the chance to unmask who done it. Congratulations, Cam. You are spared. Drink to that. Yes. I'm very happy with the way I've played the game. I have managed to get this far without backstabbing anybody. I think I am definitely the killer's biggest adversary. I think I have her against the ropes. I will be unmasking her. As for the rest of you Dungeness crabs, <sighs> I'm afraid you have no choice but to sit back and deal with the fact that you three were left out in the cold. Spa. Killing Ronnie was indeed cold-blooded. It all started just after breakfast when Ronnie adjourned to the library to be alone with his thoughts, or so he thought. Little did he know I was watching his every move on a pin camera in the belly of the See No Evil statue. Oh, of course, that makes sense. Once inside, he immediately began to write Giles a personal and confidential note. Ronnie claimed to know who I was. As it turns out, he had me pegged to the letter. I sent some tea over so he could take his time and finish his letter of incrimination. After days of spying, I was well aware Ronnie prefers powdered cream in his tea. It was ricin the most deadly toxin in the world, according to the book of toxins I left peeking out of the shelf. What? Ridiculous. <sighs> After he had gone, I simply found the letter and scratched out every reference that led back to me, preserving my anonymity. Feeling a bit less scared that his life might be spared, I made sure to give him the best spa treatment of them all, the hot tub. Ronnie got in and turned on the jets. The second he pressed the buttons, my canister of liquid nitrogen was time released from the pool equipment. By this time, the ricin had kicked in and his body temperature had skyrocketed to a deadly 105 degrees. On surveillance, it may have looked like Ronnie dozed off. I assure you, it was a dead sleep. Ronnie was shot out of the hot tub from the chemical combustion of hot water and liquid nitrogen. Freezing his ricin-laden tea, charring his body from the chemical blast, blowing half the water out of the hot tub. The forecast for this cold-blooded murder was cloudy, with an isolated chance of hail. Wow. My sincerest cold condolences. 
your killer. Thank you, Giles. Thanks. Melina. Okay. When Lindsay opens her card and it says scared, I'm shocked. Lindsay's the killer. She's not gonna kill herself. Chris. <clears throat> Have you ever been scared? I've not. Interesting. You made it all the way through without being scared ever. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry that I must bid you all a good night and wish you sleep extremely well. Thank you, Giles. Can I take my wine with me? First one's down. I'm really nervous for both Lindsay and Melina. With both of them having the scared card, it's really up in the air who we're gonna see walk through the doors. I hear footsteps. Melina, hey. how are you? <laughs> playing pool out of nervousness. I'm happy to be alive, and I'm happy that I don't see Lindsay. As long as Lindsay's not around, then that means to me that she's dead. What am I again? Summons. I'm always gonna cheer for the girl, though. Especially with a man's game. I know. Oh. That would have been that. ridiculous. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Holy crap, there you are. Well, there goes my joy. You should announce yourself yeah. in this house. What's going on? <laughs> Lindsay has been standing there for God knows how long. Why are you standing over there? I was thirsty. Why are you acting so weird? <laughs> Can't be sure. <laughs> and it is just the creepiest thing ever. Okay. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Not funny. Yeah, no no laugh. <laughs> the way Lindsay's behaving today, I have no doubt in my mind that she is the killer. <laughs> Good morning, Giles. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the killer has a surprise for you. Of That's course. No surprise. Why don't you take a look outside? Oh. <gasps> what? What is it? Limousine? What? So do we get to escape at long last? Ladies, please escort them to the limousine. Thank you. That's really exciting. I mean, we've been trapped here for days. Oh, there's presents. I'm not sure how I feel about this. And there's champagne. I don't want to open up my gift. What if it's a bomb? This is how the killer is going to now try to kill me. Nothing here is a gift. Why? <laughs> we made it really far. You don't think we deserve at least a freaking present? I do deserve a gift. I just don't want this gift. <laughs> As Lindsay's opening her gift, I'm really hoping it's something to do with her murder. A gun that goes off or poison that sprays her in the face. Uh... No! Kim! No! Kim! It's very morbid, but it's her life or my life. Oh, it's a champagne flute. Oh, Where do you think we're going? Did we figure it out yet? 
I know what I'm doing. This is not my first bottle of champagne. Is it your first bottle of champagne in the world? Well, well, it's almost nope. like he rehearsed this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Cheers to... to you dying and me living. Oh, I'm not how sure about, I want to cheers that. How about to life? <laughs> to life. To life. <laughs> oh, yours makes a very nice sound. Is that <laughs> Nowhere, the limo makes this fast U-turn. Crap! We're going off a cliff. What just happened? Holy crap. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Who is driving? Does it, did anybody even see who the driver was? I'm just now realizing that the four of us have gotten into a limo without ever seeing who the driver was. Oh my god. And that is just stupid. Oh, wait, guys are going this up. is the driveway. Is this our driveway? We are back. Oh, oh no. God. I am freaking out. We're back at Rue Manor, and odds are it's not going to be pretty. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. What is going Wait. on? Let's go find Giles. I don't feel right about Giles. this, guys. Giles! Oh, guys. Oh my TV God. screen. Oh, my God. What is this? Now I understand why the killer had to send us away, and I have a feeling that today is not going to be like any other day. <laughs> oh, Ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> Holy crap. As you can see, I'm a little tied up at the moment. Oh my god. Is this for real? How did Giles get tied up with guns to his head? I have been kidnapped and stashed somewhere in this manor. If you don't find me, I'm afraid I will die. And if you don't solve the impending crime, we will all meet a very similar fate. Oh my god! What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? All of a sudden, the room fills with this really thick white smoke. I can see maybe six inches in front of me. Is anything out of place? I can't see. <laughs> Are you here? I'm here. Where's Melina? She's not here. Melina! How could she just disappear? Melina has just completely disappeared. This is a good sign. But what if she's the killer and this is just her disappearing act so that she can come and get me? Melina! Melina! This is so creepy. Next time on the season finale of Who Done It. Where's Melina? She's not here. Melina! Until I see Melina's body, I'm not ruling her out. It's every man or woman for him or herself. Holy son of a biscuit. And only one of us is gonna walk out of this alive. I even raised the dead from the deadly haze. I thought I've seen it all. No way. You have unmasked Who Done It. For you guys that are left, one small thing can trip you up. One little error can be the difference between living and dying.